All right, we are going to discuss about share values with global value sets. So what is this? This is where we can create a pick list values like this, right? And use it across multiple different fields. So it's like a centralized value set. So if you add one more value, all those fields that are using the value set will have that additional value. And it's way, way more better to manage the value sets across your objects or even, yeah, across any anywhere that you want to keep using the same values over and over again, okay? So that's the basic uh, use of it. So let's dive in into our hands-on org and see how it looks like. So I'm gonna dive in here and go to my admin intermediate and head on to my setup here and go to my setup. I want to create a new pick list value, pick list value set and new, let's say days available. Okay, days open or available. So we have, of course, starting from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right, so I don't want to display the values alphabetically. I want to sort it like this, seven days in a week. Use first value as a default value. I don't want that as well. So we have a global value set, which is a day of the week, right? So we can keep reusing this across many fields that needs to pick out a day or multiple days of the week. Like, for example, a swimming instructor, he or she can determine the available days of the week on when they can teach swimming lessons. So they can choose which days they are available to teach, right? And then a swimming pool can also use the same values to determine when are the swimming pool open like which days are the swimming pool going to be open is it all throughout the week or they are closed on sunday and stuff like that so you see what how it works right and when you add more values to this set both fields that are using this value set see the additional values that are available all right so that's the use of it and, and that's pretty much it so let's save this and we have a global value set of days available. Now, for example, on the instructor, which is the account, right? So object manager, if I go to the account and I want to add a new field, a new field, which is a pick list, and I am going to choose multiple pick lists, okay? because the swimming instructor can choose which days he or she can teach the swimming lesson. Um, I'm gonna say days available, all right? And then use global pick list value set, right? Which one? This one, okay? So with that, uh, you can define how many visible lines Let's define everything, seven days, okay? So days when the instructor is available for teaching, okay? And I'm gonna hit next. 
um, and everybody can see it okay and hit next now I am going to add this just for the swimming instructor see all right and new the same thing again I'm going to make a new field again a new field which is the same thing uh, multi select but this is a new field all right this is a new a whole new field um, days open this is for the swimming pool same thing use global pick list value set so days available and seven lines as well days the swimming pool is open I'm gonna copy this and that so now I'm gonna make it all visible everybody can see it and this is just for the swimming pool right safe so there we have it for an example if I go to here and I want to make a new account here account and then I'm going to make new account here say it's a swimming instructor right and hit next look at that days available when are we available when um, for the swimming lesson when are the swimming instructor are available for the swimming lesson right cool is days available see now if I cancel and I try to make a swimming pool record and I hit next days open this is a different field and the same pick list value so that's how global pick list can be used it's pretty time saving and way better management of your values you can do this for a whole you know different cases that you need so that's pretty much it we are going to go back to our trail that's to share it and we have created the global value sets and we have managed the management is the same so you can uh, create new values you can reorder the values you can replace the values just like regular regular uh, pick list okay also you can promote an existing pick list to become a global one so for example if I go back here and I go to my setup again and I'm gonna go to my opportunity object here opportunity and we have the swim kids level right level 1 through level 10 here so for example hmm maybe this pick list level 1 through 10 can be used on other objects or other fields that I want to create and I want to promote this whole thing as a global pick list value so where can you do that first to be able to do that you have to also uh, restrict remember this restrict pick list to the values defined in the value level right now if I want to um, promote it I have to edit this first and then I'm gonna hit oh here promote to global value set so if I hit this right and I say swim kids level and I'm just gonna promote value set here then if I go to my this is already a global value set now so if I go back to my home and I see pick list value set we have two now see swim kids level and days available so you can promote an existing pick list values from any field that are a pick list and promote it as a global value set so that is the end of this particular um, lesson let's do the challenge so promote the value of the macaroon flavor field to a global value set with the following setting so the names are flavors just gonna copy that so go back here and back to my object manager we are going to which object 
product product boom fields and relationships macaroon flavor here let's edit this guy and promote boom 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 <laughs> you're done so note if the promote if if promote to global value set is not available on the macaron flavor field make sure to restrict pick list to the values defined in the value set is selected it's saying about this checkbox here it has to be checked okay that's making sure um, api and other programmable things is not able to inject um, new values so that has to be checked so create a field with the following settings the object is a product and a shirt and then we're going to use flavors okay okay so i'm going to make a new field again here new field is a pick list is it multiple no no it's just a pick list and i'm going to hit next shirt and use global and we're going to use flavors and next visible for everybody so everybody can see add them to the product layout and save it boom that's it guys so we are done for this one which is pretty straightforward so i'm going to get my 500 points and we are at the end of the pick list administration module meaning we will get a new badge, a new badge, bada bing, bada boom, woohoo, new shiny badge, come on, give it already, bada bing, bada boom, woohoo, nice shiny badge, I'll see you on the next module.